All right, so if you guys are like me, you're looking for the best fruit trees to plant for deer to shoot that big buck that you can in the Midwest. Well, I'm here in Wisconsin, and the three trees I chose are the Whitney crab apple, the Dalgo crab apple, and the kefir pear. Why did I choose these three trees? Well, uh, some of the trees in Wisconsin here, the winters, they can't handle um, some of the fruit trees that guys are planting in the south. Uh, we just can't. It's not worth the risk with the winters we have here uh, to take a gamble and try to plant those. I want to plant these crab apple trees, get them in the ground, and not worry about them. I got other things to do, other food plots to do, other bow hunting projects to do than to be taking care of my apple trees all the time. That's, and if you're looking for something like that, we don't have to babysit your apple trees. The Whitney and the Dalgo are great choices. Um, as you'll see in the video here, yes, I'll wrap them. Um, some Irish spring soap on them. Um, might even cage them off before the fall. Uh, otherwise the deer will destroy them. They will never mature. Number two is I wanted a fruit that holds fruit into October, even into November. Let's face it, at least in the Midwest here, that's when pre-rut and the rut's kicking off. You want a food source that's either green or in this case, uh, still has some fruit on it. Come pre-rut, rut, when those big bucks are on the prowl, uh, the more attractive food you can have in your property, the better your chance to kill that big buck are gonna be. Uh, those are the choices. I've done a lot of, watched a lot of videos myself, listened to some guys and seems like the best bet here in the Midwest for maintenance free. A lot of good apples, brands obviously, and other trees, but that is what I chose to plant. That's what I'm gonna show you guys how to plant. So without making this video too long, I'm gonna show you how I get these apple trees in the ground and where I planted them. Um, I'm gonna do yearly updates, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can see these uh, crab apple and pear trees the following year, and I'll do some updates in the fall as well. Uh, so you can see these grow. Uh, that way you'll get notification when those new videos come out. I'm not selling nothing. I'm just trying to give you guys the best deer habitat, share my passion of deer hunting with you guys. Uh, I think about it every day of the year. Absolutely crazy about it. Uh, love, love creating habitat and the chase just as much as I love uh, shooting the big deer. So um, fun part is trying to set your land up, make it as appealing as possible for that giant buck in your area and to get a crack at them. So that's what I love to do. So some guys ask, Nate, why are you planting? Why are you doing all this work at the farm? You killed two great bucks. Last two seasons, I've killed uh, some great bucks. Uh, leave it alone, everything's great, right? Well, no. Um, yes, I killed two great deer the past two seasons out there, but you can always make a property better. Don't ever get comfortable thinking, oh, I had two really good years. Um, you know, I'm just going to sit back, kick my feet up. The big bucks will keep coming in. Uh, unless you own thousands of acres, I just have a little 10-acre piece and a 5-acre piece behind me I hunt. So I got to do everything I can to make these properties appealing. And uh, the 28 fruit trees I put in this season, obviously it's not an immediate reward, but three to five years. I've even heard after a year they start getting fruit. So, you know, they're six feet high. So, um, you can always enhance the property. You can always make it better just because I'm shooting great deer. Uh, I'm going to do everything I can to keep making those properties better. So on top of planting some apple trees, I'm going to show you guys, I put in about almost 200 spruce trees, uh, bare root spruce trees. You don't have to break the bank. I got two to three foot Norway spruce and Colorado blue spruce for about $4 a tree because they're bare root. You don't have to break the bank, guys. Get bare root trees in April and May and save a lot of money. Uh, I'm screening off the road. I'll, guy, I'll show you guys uh, aerial, show you what I'm doing, create some more uh, screening, uh, windbreak, uh, make the deer feel safe with the road nearby. So I'm gonna kind of throw this in. I know this you guys are watching this for the apple trees, pear trees, but since I'm planting a bunch of spruce trees, I thought I'd show, throw that in there too, so you guys will get to see how we do that as well. So I planted about 150 trees on the farm this year. 
about 100 spruce trees and 30 fruit trees all together. So I spaced them out, staggered them a little bit to give the deer some screening from the road, make them feel a little safer and all the egg land I got out there. Create a nice windbreak as well and some good bedding in the winter. So let's get over to the fruit trees and see how we plant them. Springtime, bare root tree time. If you guys got a nursery near you, I just got in this Whitney crab apple tree. I got a bunch of dalgos as well. Uh, we're putting 25 crab apple trees and five pear trees in the ground. Um, yeah, bare root nursery uh, in the Midwest here, end of April, early May. You can get these nice trees, six footers, uh, for about 35 bucks. So real cost effective, just some hard work putting them in and can reap the rewards. Let's get planting trees. All right, end of April, we're getting some apple trees in the ground. So we cheated a little bit. We rented a bobcat. You can see we got a pretty big hole. I got about 300 trees I'm planting on the property. So uh, if you're planting these apple trees, you don't need to rent a bobcat by all means. But since I was putting in the other trees, I figured why not? Uh, <laughs> dig the holes for the apple trees as well. So um, I use a two foot auger if you do rent a, a bobcat. Pretty affordable if you rent one. I don't have the money to buy one, but uh, um, I don't know where you're at if you can rent one, but I rent one for a day with the uh, auger attachment, two foot auger attachment trailer and everything on tracks because it's pretty muddy this time of year. That was about 500 bucks, so not too bad. Um, especially if you're planting two, 300 trees, take you forever. So uh, we're gonna show you how we get these in the ground. Um, I was set on the Whitney and the guy I bought them from uh, swears by the Dalgo as well for deer. So uh, we're getting them in the ground, let's do it. So, so the roots come, you wanna make sure just to prune those roots a little bit. Stimulates new growth. Even the main root. Give her a little cut. That should be pretty good. You don't have to go overboard. Turn straight. Looks pretty straight. Fill her in. Pretty self-explanatory planting these trees. Biggest thing is not to cover that root ball that you'll see at the base there. Uh, definitely don't cover that or your tree odds of survival aren't as good. So yeah, end of April here in Wisconsin is tree planting time. I'm planting some Dalgo and Whitney crabapple trees. They're a little more uh, resistant to disease and rot and all kinds of things uh, a lot more maintenance free than regular apple trees that you or i would like to eat and i can tell you the deer love uh, crab apples they will hammer them and like i said i don't want to be babysitting these trees all the time i want to get them in the ground and let them do their thing so so now we're going to wrap them You definitely want to do this. I'm going to wrap them higher up later in the year. But right off the bat, you want to wrap them at least rabbit height. If rabbits and mice will just chew these right up. If you want to wrap them at least two feet up like this, I think that might even be 30 inches, 30 inch tube. And I'll wrap it higher up and prune it in the fall when the bucks start rubbing. So that's it for now. We got full sun here, southern exposure. You can see. Got a ditch with a creek. Gotta plant them all along this ditch line. We got alfalfa out there, and I'm doing two acres of uh, Milo button up to this. So. Not an immediate reward, but three to five years, I'll start reaping the rewards of this, so. Right, 14 holes dug. Couldn't get the bobcat at the other farm, so we did it the old-fashioned way with the shovel. Let's check it out. Two. 
So yeah, when you dig holes, you just dig them a little uh, wider and deeper to give the roots some room to grow and establish a little better. It helps them out, especially doing the bare root trees. So that's what I did and it seems to work pretty good. I have a real good survival rate. Just got 14 crab apple and dalgo, kefir pear, and Whitney crab apple trees planted. Spaced them about 25 feet apart for self-pollination, cross-pollination I should say. In the Irish Spring, they're already nipping these. I'll fix them. So the Irish Spring soap is a trick my cousin taught me. He's got a higher deer population than me, and he has an apple tree by his soybean plot. And he swears that it keeps the mice, rabbits, and deer away. And I've done my research as well, and it looks like the stuff really works. And it's a lot easier than caging off all the trees. So, in three to five years, these fruit trees should really enhance this spot. Back to the other farm I hunt here. Here's a good aerial. Uh, we're looking there is about an acre of soybeans that I'll be putting in. i got a video of that coming out as well. That'll be corn in the middle again this year. It's a little five acre piece that I hunt behind the house and we got a trail around the cornfield you can see that the bucks really use come rut now you can see the apple and pear trees with the white tubes i planted and they're on the south side so they will get quite a bit of sunlight there which they need i might clear out a few more trees there but i space these trees out about 20 25 feet apart for cross pollination and Got them tubed off, got the Irish spring salt, keep the deer away. They were already chewing the branches on them. So hoping to make a good spot, a great spot with the help of these fruit trees in a couple of years. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, planting apple trees, pear trees. Um, please uh, hit that subscribe button if you like it and you want to see some updates of those apple trees and spruce trees. I'll be doing uh, yearly updates as well. We'll be planting some uh, grain sorghum, milo. Uh, mixed in with some soybeans. We're going to do about three, four acres of that at the other farm. We're going to do the eagle seed soybeans again. We're going to be planting a lot more of them. We're going to be doing the Whitetail Institute oats as well this year. So uh, a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Uh, you hit that subscribe button, you'll get notification when those videos are released. So a lot of food plot videos coming in with updates on that. Uh, Milo, grain sorghum. Great. I want more bedding out at the other farm I hunt. It's surrounded by open egg. It's just a little 10 acre piece. So the more bedding, the better. I'm going to throw some eagle seed soybeans in with the Milo. They do really good together. So we're going to see how those come up this year. So first time trying that. I'm super excited for that. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks guys.